Stokes theorem. If f vector be a vector point function around a simple closed curve C and over the open surface S having as its boundary, then interval over C f dot dr is equal to double interval over S del cross f dot n into ds. So this is the statement of the Stokes theorem. One problem based on the Stokes theorem. Verify Stokes theorem for f vector is equal to x square minus y square i vector plus 2xyj vector in the rectangular region of z equal to 0 plane bounded by the lines x equal to 0, y equal to 0, x equal to a, y equal to b. So now here the problem we have to verify the Stokes theorem for the given vector fine function over the rectangular region bounded by the lines. So now the given vector is f vector is equal to x square minus y square into i plus 2xy into j. The Stokes theorem is interval over c f dot dr is equal to double interval over s del cross f dot n into ds. Okay, now this is the Stokes theorem. Now the rectangular region bounded by these lines. So now the diagram can be written as, so this is the diagram x is equal to 0. It is given one of the line bounded by the rectangular region. x equal to 0 is y-axis, y equal to 0 x-axis. Another one, x is equal to a. x is equal to a is like this. So x is equal to a. So this is x is equal to a. Another one, y equal to b. So this is y equal to b. So now this is a rectangular, rectangular bounded by four lines. Now I am going to find the point of intersection. So this is one of the point of intersection. You consider the o, o which is 0, 0. Another one, this is another point of intersection. You consider A which is A, 0. So A, 0. This is third point of intersection. You take it as B which is A comma B. And the fourth point of intersection, this is, you can take it as C, which is 0 comma B. 0 comma B. So these are all point of intersection. Now we have to find out the line integral. LHS of the Stokes theorem is line integral, interval over C, F dot dr. So line integral it covers the line along OA and OAB, BC, CO. So this is the integral over C, line integrals. So now to evaluate the given integral, interval over C F dot dr, we have to find out interval over along OA plus interval over AB plus interval over BC plus interval over CO. So this is line integral, sum of these four integrals. Okay, so now first I am going to find, first I am going to find, before that I am going to first find out the f dot dr. What is f dot dr? Given vector, f vector is x square minus y square into i plus 2xy into j f dot dr. What is dr? dxi plus dyj plus D is at so, but this is a two dimension. If you take D is at k direction, there is no k here. So now suppose D is at k vector. Taking dot product between these two. Dot product is the coefficient of i is multiply with the coefficient of i. So multiplication these two is x square minus y square into dx plus j coefficient is multiply with the j coefficient. So 2xy into dy. There is no k coefficient, so there will be 0, k coefficient of 0, 0 into d is at 0. So this is f dot dr. So this is the f dot dr. And now I want to find out integral over c. Integral over c, f dot dr. The line integral over c is integral over oa, f dot dr plus integral over AB F dot DR plus integral over BC F dot DR plus integral over 
CO from the diagram. So this is the sum of line integral, integral over C of dot dr. So now first I want to find out integral over OA. So now first I am going to find along OA. Along OA. Already we know from the diagram O is origin 0, 0 and A is A, 0. Now first I want to write the equation of OA. So from the diagram, from the diagram the equation of OA is Y equal to 0. So now equation of OA is Y is equal to 0 which implies that dy equal to 0 which implies that dy is equal to 0 but we know f dot dr this is f dot dr but in along OA dy is 0 if dy is 0 the term will be eliminated remaining x square minus y square into dx but y also 0 because y 0 dy 0 so when you substituting y 0 and dy 0 this will be eliminated y0 only x square dx. So from this f dot dr is only x square dx because y0 dy0. So now I am going to find integral over OA f dot dr is equal to integral over x square dx. The limit for x is the limit for x is 0 to a because the limit for x is 0 to a so now 0 to a integration with respect to x so now x cube by 3 the limit for x is 0 to a so now it is a cube by 3 so now along OA is over next second one I am going to find along AB along AB so from the diagram we know a is a comma 0 and b is a comma b. So as usual we have to find out the equation of a b. So equation of a b is from the diagram equation of a b equation of a b is x is equal to a. So now x is equal to a. So from this when you differentiate dx is equal to constant differential is 0. So we have x is equal to a and dx is equal to 0. So now substitute these two values in f dot dr. x is equal to a, dx is 0. So when, you d when dx is 0, it will be eliminated. When x is equal to a, 2ay dy. So from this, f dot dr is equal to dx 0, so first term 0. So 2x, x is a. 2ay into dy. So now I am going to find integral over ab f dot dr is equal to integral over f dot dr is 2ay into dy. The limit for y, what is limit for y? 0 to b. The limit for y is 0 to b. So now 0 to b. Now I am going to integrate things with respect to y. So here when you are integrating with respect to y, so now 2a y integral is y square by 2, the limit for y is 0 to b. 2 to cancel, so substitute limit for y is a b square. So this is the integral over a b f dot dr. And next I am going to find out third line. Third one is along along BC along BC from the diagram B is A comma B and C is 0 comma B so now as usual we have to find out equation of ABC equation of BC is so from the diagram what is BC equation of BC is Y equal to B so now Y equal to B now differentiate dy equal to differential of constant is 0 so by substituting these two in f dot dr from this f dot dr is equal to dy 0 y equal to b so what is dr this is dr dy 0 y is b 
So dy0 mean it will be eliminated. Y is b, so x square minus b square into dx. So now x square minus b square into dx. So now I am going to find integral over bc f dot dr is equal to integral over f dot dr is x square minus b square into dx the limit for x from the here limit for x is a to 0 so now a to 0 so now integration with respect to x x square integral x cube by 3 minus integration of b square with respect to x so b square x the limit for limit is a to 0 so now substitute upper limit first when you substituting the upper limit 0 minus 0 so 0 minus 0 upper limit 0 minus lower limit when you substitute a here a cube by 3 minus substitute a here b square a so now you simplify when that means you multiply minus inside so minus a cube by 3 minus or minus plus a b square so this is the value of integral over b c f dot dr ok next fourth one I am going to find along along c o from the diagram I am going to find along c o c is 0 comma b from the diagram and we know o is origin 0 comma 0 so first I am going to write equation of c o equation of CO is from the diagram what is equation of CO equation of CO is x is equal to 0 so that x is equal to 0 so differentiate this dx is equal to 0 now substituting these two values in f dot dr so that f dot dr is equal to so what is f dot dr we know f dot dr this is f dot dr here dx is 0 so this will be eliminated and x is equal to 0 substitute 0 here the entire term also eliminated so f dot dr becomes 0 so when you substituting these two values in f dot dr f dot dr value is 0 therefore integral over c o f dot dr is equal to 0 so now we want to find out LHS of the Stokes theorem so what is LHS of the Stokes theorem? LHS of the Stokes theorem is interval over C f dot dr. Interval over C is the line integral. Line integral is along OA, along AB, plus along BC, and along CO. So now interval over C f dot dr is interval over OA f dot dr, plus interval over AB f dot dr, plus integral over bc f dot dr and the last one integral over co into f dot dr so this is sum of four line integrals so that already we found it integral over oa already we found the value is a cube by 3 plus integral over ab already we found it is a b square and already we found integral over bc the integral over bc is minus a cube by 3 plus a b square and last integral over c o is 0 so now here cancel these two values so now LHS of the Stokes theorem is 2 a b square so this is the LHS of the Stokes theorem that means integral over c f dot dr so now we want to find out RHS of the Stokes theorem. Now I, we want to find out the RHS of the Stokes theorem. So what is RHS of the Stokes theorem? The RHS of the Stokes theorem is double integral over S del cross F dot N into DS. So to find RHS first we have to find out del cross F. So this is F vector. I am going to find del cross F. So what is del cross F? Del cross F is, is determinant of i j k the first to the second row dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z and the third row i coefficient of f vector is x square minus y square so x square minus y square 
j coefficient is 2xy k coefficient 0 there is no k coefficient terms and now I am going to simplify so first in the row plus minus plus so as usual determinant method i vector into so leave it 0 minus differentiation with respect to z there is no z so this is also 0 minus j vector into this into this 0 minus with respect to z there is no z so this is also 0 plus k vector into differentiation with respect to x with respect to x differential is 1 so 2y minus differentiation with respect to y 0 minus 2y so minus of minus plus 2y so finally del cross f is equal to 2y plus 2y 4y into k vector so this is the del cross f so we found del cross f and now I am going to find RHS of the Stokes theorem so what is RHS of the Stokes theorem double interval over s del cross f dot in n into ds so now double interval over del cross f what is del cross f it is 4y k vector dot n cap what is n cap n cap is the unit normal vector to the region so here the regions are bounded by the rectangle which is lies on the x y plane so that the unit normal vector is k vector so here n cap is k vector so that it is k vector if it is k vector now ds if it is k vector ds can be written as dx dy by modulus n cap dot k but k is n is k vector k dot k 1 modulus of k 1 so that ds is dx dy so now this ds can be written as dx dy so now the limit for x is 0 to a limit for y is 0 to b because from the diagram x limit is 0 to a y limit 0 to b so now here limit is 0 to a x limit 0 to a y limit 0 to b and now k dot k is 1 so now interval over 0 to b interval over 0 to a so k dot k 1 means 4y dx dy so now the first integral with respect to x so that integral 0 to b so 4y x the limit for x is 0 to a into dy so now I am going to substitute limit for y here sorry limit for x here limit for x when you substitute here a so 4ay into dy so now here integral over 0 to b substituting limit for x here when you substitute x equal to a 4ay dy so now 4ay into dy now I am going to integrating with respect to y so 4a y square by 2 the limit for y is 0 to b 2 cancel so now 2a substitute b here 2a b square so now this is the RHS of the Stokes theorem LHS and RHS both are same so that Stokes theorem verified therefore Stokes theorem verified